What's up guys? It's a week away from Wisconsin bow season opener and with a 10 day weather forecast you can definitely start planning your hunts. So if you're not, start planning, start figuring out where you're going to go and what you're going to do. For me, I got a southwest wind, 50 degrees in the morning, 80 degrees in the evening. I hate hunting evening hot weather, so for me 50 degrees is going to be awesome in the morning. Got a southwest wind like I said, so hunting these trees right here, my wind's going to blow into that swamp. I got deer coming from up here, which is kind of ag, and they're coming back through this way into this swampy area to bed for the day. And there's tons of acorns in here. Tons of oaks, tons of acorns. They always stop. I got them on camera a lot. Stopping, feeding, hanging out, just milling around in here before they head back to their bed. So uh, definitely if I were you guys, start looking at your wind, start looking at your temps, figure out where you're gonna go, what you're gonna do, and start putting your options together. And hopefully you can have some opening weekend success. So opening morning, you want to hunt opening morning, trying to figure out where you want to go. My first thought to you would be get back in the woods, you know, two to 300 yards off, off a field edge and try to find some sort of food source or like a general bedding area and hunt out of that. Hunt, you know, 50 to 100 yards out of that bedding area. You want to try to catch them coming from that food to that bed. And 90% of the time people just like sit on the field edge in the morning and it's, you might catch, you know, something small or something lucky. But for the most part, my experience has told me, get in the woods because that's where you're going to be most successful. So that'd be my first tip. Find some acorns, find some oaks and get in the woods. And I just want to talk about evening hunting in early season. So for the most part, uh, evening hunts, everybody's gonna hunt field edges. And I definitely agree with that. On public land, it's pretty tough. It's not like the TV shows show you. Like deer aren't just gonna pour into a field at like seven o'clock right before dark. It usually just doesn't happen. So for me, what's worked best is sitting off the field edge, 50 to 100 yards, and finding a stage, what's called a staging area. I'm looking for acorns, apple trees, something that the deer will pick at and kind of snack on before they hit the big fields. And that's usually been the most successful for me. If you give it a try, hopefully it's successful for you too. Yeah.